Greetings, and welcome to episode 17. In today's episode, we'll be discussing upgrading the operating system, ways you can achieve this, and why it's important. I've been discussing upgrading the operating system over the last few videos, and now I'm going to discuss how to do it, because it's vastly important that it that we as a race achieve this. And if you already know how to do it, then you need to help teach other people how to do it. If you've already done it, then you need to help teach other people how to do it. And this is me returning the favor. Alright. Let's get started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, upgrading the operating system. First, let me break down what the operating system is. Your operating system is, plainly put, your subconscious mind and how the subconscious mind is pretty much everything you've ever learned and the things you deem as a good idea are the things that your subconscious mind puts forth to your conscious mind as the framework for your life pretty much the filters that you access the hologram through I associate it with a computer because most of us know our way around a computer enough to understand what I mean when I say operating system and programs. The programs are the ideas that we install or accept as true. Some ideas won't work with the way that your subconscious is structured. Likewise, certain programs won't work with an out-of-date operating system. So, to get a hold of some of these newer ideas, to, to, to fully grasp them and see where they go, how they work, or what to use them for, you'll never get to use them if you're stuck with your subconscious mind using the old filters because you're never going to give anything a chance that doesn't fit with your outdated filters and anyone could argue well how you, you could just not be telling the truth you could just be pandering to 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 get some get what i my my videos as of this moment to date are not monetized i'm not getting paid for this i do this for now out of the the kindness of my own heart okay will I monetize possibly but not because well this money th this information is worth money no a brother's got to eat simple as that <laughs> simple as that but at this point no they're not they're not at all monetized so I'm not doing this to get your money or get money from anywhere I'm doing this because these things need to be done and even if I was charging for this service it wouldn't be very expensive at all this information should be shared with everybody it's just that like I said brothers gotta eat <laughs> what did he say in Dragonheart honor does not shoe my horse nor feed my belly <laughs> and it doesn't <laughs> anyway when you're a kid think about how you felt when you were a kid and the operating system that you worked with then your operating system was completely and totally programmed by your immediate environment because your environment when you're a kid is only as big as you do when you're a baby it's only as big as the room and when you get a little older it's only as big as your house and so your main source of programming comes from that small area and the people immediately associated to your existence i.e. babysitters your parents siblings and whoever shows up frequently enough to actually cause an imprint to, to go on this is at the very beginning this is when your computer first comes online from the hospital to the house 
and now now you're you now but let's backtrack because I want you to see the progression of your operating system how when you before you start school and you have very limited understanding of uh, the world <laughs> even your word processor is limited but as we get older that old operating system will not do and see when you're younger and and before someone has a chance to abuse your trust and you end up uploading bad information and you start putting up those firewalls because you don't want bad information getting in or somebody tells you here run this program let nothing in but what I say and that happens a lot like if you're part of a church or any religion any of the mainstream religions will tell you first upload this listen to no one but us now you can upload anything you want because no they know nothing else is going to get in unless it comes from them but before you put up your firewalls you pretty much upload anything and everything because you want to learn you're ready to learn I'm uploading everything 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 I want to know what's that is that a cookie oh mm, that tastes sweet oh that's was that celery mm, it's crunchy I like the crunch but maybe it doesn't taste as sweet as cookies and this is you running these programs over and over and over and you want to learn and you learn more and, you, and, and the operating system is more adaptable in that your operating system upgrades itself without you even paying attention to it constantly 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 until you hit probably I want to say probably around the time you hit school and the great structuring of the operating system starts to take place and then you start having that's when we start developing strong ideas about things we've already got a few strong ideas about some things Ooh, I don't like the way that tastes. Ooh, I don't like the way that smells. Ooh, I don't like that person. So we have a few things that we've actually decided and weren't decided for us by our immediate programmers, which would be our siblings, parents, and now you're in school, now it's your teacher. But you'll notice, as long as it can be proven as a fact, or as long as you believe it to be a fact, you will have no problem upgrading your operating system to accept the new idea. None at all. Just like when you were a baby into toddler, into whatever stage is next when you become school age. You had no problem accepting new ideas because your operating system was constantly evolving. You understood that you didn't have enough information to write your own programming so or come up with your own programming so you pretty much accept any programming whatsoever like here's a program my mom gave me when I was a kid my mom had plants around the house and uh, it was my job to water the plants my mom in the decanter would put eggshells and I asked my mother why did you put eggshells in the water? And my mother said with a straight face, I'm growing baby chickens. Program accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so for weeks and weeks and months, I would ask my mother on a regular basis, when are the chickens going to hatch? When are the chickens going to hatch? And instead of removing the program or altering it to accept that it was a joke, she kept the program running. Oh, give it time. They'll hatch. <laughs> okay, since then, my first job was in a greenhouse, and I now know that putting the eggs in the water, the water leaches the nutrients from the shells, and then the nutrients goes into the, to the, uh, uh, the soil. Uh, it's a lot less messy than crushing up the shells and putting them in the soil. You put them in the water. Fine, I get that. But I accepted that programming. And it's those kind of moments, especially the older you get, because when you're a kid, you're a little embarrassed. But when you get older and someone abuses your trust and uploads malicious software, it starts to hurt your feelings because now they've abused your trust. I trusted you 
to give me good information, to give me this good program, and your program was, sh was shoddy. It, was, it turned out to be a virus. And so that's when we start putting up the firewalls. And we learn this technique, we learn it from our parents, because we observe them putting up their firewalls to certain programs that they refuse to let in for whatever reason. It doesn't matter if it's 100% fact and provable. If a person has that firewall up, it's not getting in. If a person has a out-of-date operating system, they're going to automatically put up a firewall to not let that new idea in because and not because they're old and you can't teach old dogs new tricks but because they're so stern and steadfast in their beliefs which makes up that operating system that's what's in your subconscious mind the stuff that you have decided is fact or true or believable is what is in your subconscious mind. That's what your subconscious mind pushes forward as you. That's what makes up you. The outward expression of you. Nothing can, can define you. You are a slice of the hologram. But you have to operate that slice within the realm of what we call society. Social interaction and all that. Uh, without the social interaction, the operating system becomes obsolete because you won't have anyone telling you here program this, program that. You just you everything's accessible and everything is equally false and equally true because nobody's there to prove or disprove it. You only you will only know by observation, and if you observe this thing happening, then and no one's around to, 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 to clarify what's really going on whatever you just saw that's how it's going to get programmed and that's how your operating system's going to run but since we do have social interaction you have to be a little more discerning we, we learn to be a little more discerning and some people will throw up firewalls just because of who's in their circle of friends oh I don't let that in Oh, I would never let that in. Oh, I would never let that in. Even that holds you back. Because you could be out learning new things, but you're afraid that this group of people will no longer accept you if you expand your operating system or upgrade it to let new programs in. And you, you might be right. They might not accept you anymore. But sometimes moving forward means moving forward alone. Like I said, the path is solitary. Yes, there's only one source, or God, or whatever you want to call it. But there are many paths to that source. And the reason why there are many paths is because there's 7 billion people on the planet. That means there's 7 billion different points of view. 7 billion different realities. 7 billion different paths. Whether or not we're going to the same place is the choice of the person walking the path. So they might end up in the same place you are, but years or even lifetimes later. Just because you're running to get there doesn't mean everybody has to run to get there. It's not that type of race. And because you think you're there already and you want to sit down, it's not your place to tell everyone to sit down. Just have faith and believe and sit. We'll get there. No, you're not going to get there if you're sitting on the side of the road waiting. Let's go. It's, got a lo it's a long walk. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> but to get this person to believe that it's, it, it's not only okay but beneficial to get up and get moving we have to convince them to upgrade their operating system. You need to see that it's not that they don't want to hear it. It's not that they don't want to believe you. It's that they can't reconcile what you're telling them with what they have learned thus far. doesn't matter if it's true. It doesn't matter if what they know no, no longer serves them. 
It only matters that they cannot reconcile what you're telling them with what they already know. And there is nothing I have ever learned to date that can be reconciled with the Quran, the Talmud, the Christian Bible. If those books are viewed in the classical orthodox sense, meaning stale, crusty religion, don't ask any questions, just do what I tell you, way of thinking. And that's not what we were put here for. That speaks to politics and population control. That's all that speaks to. I need to control the population. How am I going to do that? Oh, I can use religion. Because once that gets locked in, it's like moving a mountain trying to update that operating system. It's hard to get them to understand that we're not trying to destroy your computer. We're not trying to wash your computer. We need you to upgrade your operating system because some of these, some of these, and I'd say at least 75% of the old programs will run with the new operating system. But none of the new programs will run with the old operating system. My whole journey to this point was trying to reconcile all the new things I learned with all the old things I learned. And they didn't reconcile until I upgraded my operating system, which is to say I cleared out the old cobwebs from the subconscious with one phrase what if I'm wrong boom firewalls down the old programs went nowhere and matter of fact if it wasn't for the old programs I would have had nothing to draw on to do my research okay now, now how does this fit Oh, I see it now. I see it. I see it. Okay, now how does this fit with all this new information? Okay, I see it. I see it. I can relate everything I've ever learned to everything that's coming in now because I upgraded my operating system. I gave for the fact that maybe it was taught wrong. I gave for the fact that maybe I'm wrong. I give for the fact every day that I could be wrong because as long as I keep saying I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I need to learn more, my operating system works the way it did when I was a child. Instead of it fighting everything off, whenever I get that twinge, you know, you hear that when you hear something that you maybe, it's not that you don't agree with it, but it's different than what you've heard, so you get that little bit of feeling. Yeah, that's that firewall kicking off. As soon as you get that feeling, make a, make a note of that. What set that firewall off? And then when you're done with this conversation, or you're done watching that show where you heard it, the documentary, or the, or the public speaker, you go and you research those every spot that kicked off a firewall. You go research it and see if there's any basis for them to bring it up in conversation in the first place. I'm not telling you that your knowledge to date is invalid. I'm telling you your knowledge to date is out of date. And your understanding of it needs to be upgraded. Stop looking at myths and legends as true stories. They are parables and analogies and metaphors. How do we know this? Because we know that's what they were before they were taken from their original sources and put into this other doctrine. So how does it go from being self-described as parables, myths, legends, metaphors, analogy, self-described as such, how does it go from that to being stone-hard cold fact when it's put into a different book? Same stories, but now it's fact. That's what you got to reconcile. It's funny that I have to go back to an even older operating system 
then what's in effect now to explain to people why it's time to upgrade the operating system? <laughs> I have to go back to the old, remember the old punch card computers? You type, you punched in the information you wanted, and, and you got a punch card out of it with little holes on it. It's pretty bad that I got to go back to the abacus to explain what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Occam's razor. Keep it simple, stupid. If it says analogy or metaphor, that's what it is. And just because someone thousands of years down the road borrowed, plagiarized, those stories doesn't make them facts. At all. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so what we're forced to do at this point is look at the person whose operating system we're trying to help upgrade and tell them one thing. Just tell them one thing. The same thing that it took you to get your firewalls to come down enough to do a little bit more research because once it upgrades it doesn't change the world but it will change how you see the world it'll change how much of the world you see there uh, there's no spot where you get to sit and say I know I was told okay you were told to just sit there and do nothing there's a reason why you were told to sit there and do nothing don't rock the boat because if you rock the boat people will fall off and people that have to fend for themselves and swim in the tide usually learn how to swim and if I learn how to swim then I don't need to be in your boat anymore and if I don't need to be in your boat anymore I'm not gonna do what you tell me and I'm certainly not gonna give you five dollars every Sunday I'm not saying religion is a bad thing because from where I'm sitting all of that's valid they're just teaching it wrong and if they're teaching it wrong that means they're not doing anything to prepare those old operating systems so that these new programs and some of these programs that aren't even new they're just an upgraded it's like your operating system really it wasn't built to handle what these programs can actually do for you and once you upgrade your operating system then these programs they they go into full effect and you're like whoa I never saw it that way before well if I have a, a yellow filter up none of the yellow is getting through and if the ideas I'm trying to present are yellow you're not gonna see them because you got a yellow filter up or a blue filter or a red filter and if you have a yellow blue and red filter up you ain't seeing nothing because those are the primary colors without which you're not seeing anything you're just being spoon fed your ideas based on an old narrow operating system wondering why you know it don't hold up but I have faith faith doesn't mean not upgrading your operating system it means that no matter what I learn, this is still the goal. And guess what? My goal is still the same as yours, but I had the foresight and the privilege to come to the understanding that it's okay to expand on what you know. It's okay to not get spoon-fed your ideas and opinions. There are more than three books out there. Granted, the Talmud is pretty damn big, and... It's pretty. It's almost as big as an Encyclopedia Britannica, and costs about the same. I looked into it. I was because I wanted a, a, one of each holy book of the mainstream. I have three Bibles, two Quran, and when I went to buy the Talmud, ten thousand dollars for a Encyclopedia Britannica size book collection. I said, "Whoa, I gotta have that." But I'm kind of broke, so I'll wait. So. <laughs> Yeah, some of these holy books are pretty big. <laughs> and see, I'm only dealing with the religions that create those fixed operating systems that don't allow for expansion. Every other religion on the planet allows for expansion. 
why is it just these three and all of their derivatives why is it that these ones are so narrow and rigid that they don't allow for any type of expansion whatsoever you explain that to me why is it do as I say don't ask any questions and if you really believe that why have you stepped outside even the tiniest little bit to try to prove that I'm wrong if you can prove that I'm wrong why don't you do a little research into the books that I've said into the speakers I said to go listen to into the documentaries I said to go watch why don't you look into those because I've already looked into what you're talking about and there's no way to reconcile an upgraded operating system with those old archaic programs or oh, should I say the archaic version of those programs because I have the same programs running as you do it's just the expanded view I don't have a yellow filter on or a blue filter or a red filter all of my colors are running I'm seeing in full color the information that I need to get is coming to me but I understand the need to hold on the not wanting your beliefs to crumble to pieces right in front of you and restructuring can sometimes be painful but it's necessary you've been doing it since you were a child why would God create humans with that kind of operating system that devours knowledge from the minute it wakes up from the minute it leaves the womb humans set about to devour every little bit of knowledge they can until they hit religion why is that explain that to me explain that to me and explain how that's the right way to go when we are if we are made in God's image and we are a slice of the hologram and we come here devouring knowledge from the onset why religion stops that does that seem natural to you even dogs learn to love to learn new things I've never met anything any creature that didn't love to learn new things I know why some people hold on some people hold on to that old archaic way of being because if you find a way and you break that programming and you upgrade that 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 operating system for them now they have to take responsibility for their actions and that's fail safe that's guaranteed in that archaic operating system that that guarantee that no matter what happens as long as you believe you made it yeah they don't get that anymore once you understand that you're not getting that you don't get that anymore and some people are relying on it they're counting on it because they feel they've messed up that badly there's evil and good in the whole universe and if you don't believe me watch my video light versus dark I'll go look in the mirror you are not perfect you will do horrible things you will do heavenly things if God was so against evil he would have destroyed the universe millions of years ago there's nothing that any of you have ever done ever in your lives that would require quite that would re require you to need that failsafe that if you believe you're going to heaven nothing you're going to heaven as long as you earn it don't talk about the path walk it you can't say I love God and then go around cursing people or talking shit about people behind their back that ain't walking the path and nobody's gonna swoop down and save you anyone lukewarm will be spit out who said that man cannot serve two masters who said that man will be known by his works who said that 
time to upgrade the operating system. And I've just spoken to you for about a half an hour on how the operating system works and how to change it. Research. It's okay to look into new things. Because if you know it in your heart that it's true, then you don't have a choice but to upgrade that operating system to accept that new program. Now, once you let one new program in and you upgrade that hardware, that, that hard, that, that, you upgrade that operating system. Now, it is completely What's the word I'm looking for? It is 100% imperative that you go back and reconcile the rest of what you've learned. Because with the new operating system, with the new eyes given to you by that operating system, you will be able to reconcile everything you've learned with that one new point that you let in. And you'll start to see that the new eyes, yes, yeah, that can happen as often as you want it to just by keeping that operating system fresh and up to date. You'll constantly get new eyes to see through and you can go back and look at anything you've ever looked at and you'll see it different and you'll see it new. And there'll be something that you missed that you didn't see the last time. And you'll start to see that you can teach an old dog new tricks. And those old archaic thought forms, <sighs> ooh, excuse me, they benefit no one. Especially you. I hope, I pray that you have learned something from this today. Because upgrading your operating system is fundamental to learning and advancing as a race, as a species on this planet. By our own works, by our own good works, will we get through this. Not by sitting around and faithfully believing. That sounds well and good, but you know what? That old failsafe is not needed at all, at all, at all. And you'll see that I'm right if you start upgrading. Because it doesn't matter what you've done your whole life as long as when you figure out what's going on you start living according to what you figured out that's the point everything you've ever done that karma is transformed once you figured out oops oh my god look what I've done as soon as you do that as soon as you figure that out your karma is transformed and instead of getting it all in one lump sum, the universe sprinkles that shit out over the rest of your existences. As lessons, not as punishment. Even the rest of this lifetime gets a little bit of sprinkled out. And you'll know when that's what's going on because it'll hit you as such. Oh yeah. Open minds and open hearts. I didn't say get rid of your firewalls. I said upgrade your operating system. But when something hits that firewall, due diligence. Go research it. Check it out. You might be turning your nose up to some important information. So, getting on to the 30 minute mark. And, uh, I like this video. This very good video. If you enjoyed the video or you learned anything, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. And uh, if you did learn something or you just love the sound of my voice, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But uh, yeah, until next time, you hang in there.